Anne, and she is asking, what are your thoughts on rationalist atheism versus metaphysical atheism? Do you think metaphysics could ever help de-radicalize religious extremists the way rationality has demonstrably done? Um, metaphysics is actually a source for religious ideology rather than... Okay, so I don't know how you define metaphysical atheism. I'm just going to go to... I'm just going to talk about rationalism. I mean, I don't know, even know if you could put rationalism versus metaphysical metaphysical next to each other, okay? Again, I'm not endorsing metaphysics, but it's not like it's... The problem with metaphysics is not, is not that it's the opposite of rationalism. The problem with metaphysics is that it's too much rationalism and not enough empiricism, <laughs> right? So I don't know how you could make it seem like metaphysics and again i'm saying i'm using rationalism here as not as a compliment because rash, pure rationalism um excludes you know observation and making sure our conclusions are m matching the objective world out there like it's just pure thought and you know inductive reasoning with that yeah um sorry dedu deductive reasoning without actually is trying to matching it with the reality on the ground right so so for people okay let's get to the basics okay so metaphysical like metaphysics is the branch of philosophy that addresses the most fundamental questions that philosophers have asked um and the most useless ones as well <laughs> <laughs> All right, so meta <laughs> metaphysics is about um, the nature of reality, um, not just the question of how do we know what's real, but also the question of what is real. Like, not just like how do you know it, but what is the nature of reality? What makes something, how do you define something that is real? And actually define is an important word here because a lot of times metaphysics acts like it's about discovering some truth about everything, about existence as a whole. But what it comes down to is just how we talk about reality. It comes down to what metaphysics, metaphysics pretends to be unearthing the secrets of the universe, but the only thing that it's unearthing is the way we describe the way we use language <laughs> to talk about our understanding of the universe right that's you know so that's how but you know i think like a lot of people find it very interesting to talk about well, how do we know what's real what is real what is not real and what does it mean for something to be real is our perception can we ever have a perception of reality that is actually reality itself um you know, because any perception of reality is doesn't match perfectly with reality itself. We're never going to know what is. We're never going to be able to experience reality as it is. And the the answer is like, why? why you know, you're not going to. And why bother? Like, what's the point of all of this? Like, I ask you, I'll ask you this, okay? What is, what has metaphysics given us? You know, like, guys, we have we have you know if philosophy has any point metaphysics part of philosophy is not it okay these are questions that just makes us feel significant and it, they're interesting okay but when it comes to practical questions and of on and practical methods of figuring out what is real we already know that's the scientific method, okay? And the, the the thing is that people want to be able to come up, have answers without actually doing the hard work of finding empirical evidence to match the conclusions that we are coming up with. They just want to sit on their armchair and just think about the world and then just come up with answers that's supposed to be explaining everything. 
and that's not how you do it. We know now that's how you not, not how you do it. Like metaphysics does not produce the results that we want. And like for example, it's easy it, it's easy to see that. Like look at where the scientific method has gotten us, right? Look at all the you know this you know the fruits of the labor of science, right? Show me where has discussions on metaphysics gotten us. Like give me an example that the world has become a better place and we have come up to conclusions that actually has affected our lives that it has came out of metaphysics. Give me an example because it doesn't exist. It's useless, okay? The only time that discussions of metaphysics could be useful is discussions of is discussion around metaphysics for it to show how metaphysics is useless. And you know, like the only time like I I think like it's important for us to discuss metaphysics is for us to come. It's useful only when it comes to the conclusion that reality as it is, is not observable because the tools of observations are also um, like a barrier. Like it's not just a key that opens the, the door to reality. It's also like a barrier between you you and what reality is. And at the end of the day, you always need the tool of perception and the tool itself will affect your perception, right? So it doesn't matter that we can never truly observe reality the way it is. Just give up on that, okay? So so, so if you discuss metaphysics to the point where you realize that, okay, and then move on, right? And then also when it comes to figuring out what is real, we have, if you could, like if you go from ontology to epistemology, if you then use metaphysics to come up with the conclusion like, okay, everything else is useless. The scientific method is giving us practical answers to how things work in nature. And that's the conclusion. And then let's call, close the doors of metaphysics and just move on, right? Like, you know how we close the doors of Ishtahad? I think that, <laughs> I think you have to, the, the only point of, the only point of discussing metaphysics is for you to study it realize that you have to close the doors of metaphysics and then move on to more useful things like promoting and understanding and using the scientific method okay um uh, yeah you're basically saying it's useful to the extent that you realize that it's useless and you have to exactly move on. <laughs> yeah and also it, to the extent that it's useless other than the points where it's used to show that the only way to truth and reality is the scientific method like if you could do that, like if you could use yes, metaphysics. As learning as a learning example. Yes, exactly. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.